Happy New Year, everybody! It's uh, me, Outnumbered. I'm back with another Let's Play episode. This is Season 2, Episode 21. And... Oh, that was interesting. I got chunks loading in behind me. Yeah, I just opened up the uh, world here. So, in, what did we do in the last episode? We built a mob farm, and it used to be directly below us. But in between episodes, I went ahead and I camouflaged the uh, mob farm. And so now we have a giant floating island. Let's see uh, if I can get a... Yeah, there we go. That's what the island looks like there. Can you see it behind me? Ah, yes. That is our giant floating island. And as you can see, we got mobs coming out the bottom of it. Uh, let's land down below. I actually need to collect some gunpowder and make some rockets because in today's episode, what I have planned... Uh, means we're going to have to fly a long distance. Uh, it looks like we're still getting some mob drops outside the farm here. In fact, wow, there's quite a few bones. Is it just a coincidence that they're all bones? <laughs> uh, looks like I need to sleep soon as well. Uh, but we're, we're quite safe under here, I think. The mobs are done falling on our head for now. Uh, let's put the bones away. And as you can see, we have quite a few mob drops coming in. Uh, most of them are fairly valuable. Uh, we can use gunpowder, of course, to make rockets. Let's grab a stack now. Uh, the bones, we can make bone blocks and also bone meal from that, so that's valuable. Uh, the string, we can trade to villagers or turn into wool, although we do have a wool farm already. And then, of course, the, uh, the rotten flesh we can trade to villagers as well, so the most useless item here is the arrows. Uh, but we made this farm mostly just for the gunpowder. Uh, let's see, I, did I grab a stack out of there? I can't remember what chest I was in. Okay, that one. I'm just going to grab a stack from each chest here, and we're going to craft up a, a whole lot of rockets. There we go. I guess it didn't matter if it was all from one chest or not. Uh, I need paper. Oh, we got some drown here. Yeah, this is kind of an unintentional drown farm uh, down here sometimes. Uh, was it just that one drown hitting me? Okay, there's another one as well. I don't have my shield in my offhand, so, uh, if there's a trident fella, <laughs> well, we'll have to be careful. Uh, but I haven't seen any down here lately. Uh, let me go ahead and show you where we got all the resources from this farm for, because I had originally, um, uh, I uh, recorded a time lapse of uh, building the island around the mob farm there. This is where we got all the blocks from. Uh, we just peeled back layer after layer of uh, stone here. And we used some of it as cobblestone and some of it as smooth stone. And we just built up layers underneath the, uh, around the farm there. And we then we packed uh, dirt back on the top. Let's take another look at it. Uh, maybe we should sleep first. Here, let's, let's go back and we'll sleep uh, at our starter base over here. Let's see, it's just around the corner where you can see the beacon. Can I land it? Can I land it? Yes, no problem. All right, let's get down in here and sleep in our bed. Uh, so what I have today planned for, yeah, this episode is I want to return to an ancient city. Uh, the thing is, I have this uh, enchanted book up here. And where is it? Is it in here? It's Swift Sneak 2. Yeah, right there, Swift Sneak 2. And what I want to do is put Swift Sneak uh, Swift Sneak 3 on my leggings here, and then make them netherite. So that's the only enchantment that I'm missing. Um, in order to do that, we have to go to an ancient city. We've already been to two, and uh, all I could find was just this one Swift Sneak 2 book. So in order to get Swift Sneak 3, we're going to need another Swift Sneak 2 or uh, a Swift Sneak 3 book uh, looted from an ancient city. Uh, do, we, do we have paper here? How many rockets? So we have a stack of rockets in our ender chest, so we have access to that. But I don't think that's going to be enough to find another ancient city. Do we have paper down here? Uh, we have a little bit of paper, but you know what? Let's just go to the source. Over here we have uh, a sugarcane farm, and I've it's been loaded for some time, so there should be... Yeah, there's some sugarcane in here. Let's take out... I think all we need is one stack, is that correct? And I need a crafting bench, there should be one over here somewhere, yeah right here. Uh, actually, okay, pumpkins and melons are not quite ready to pick up. Uh, let's turn this into not sugar, let's turn it into paper, oh, okay that's less than a stack of paper, I need more sugar cane than that. 
I want to make a whole lot of rockets. In fact, if we could fill a shulker box full of rockets, that would be the best, I think. Uh, how many do I need here? I just need two more stacks, I think. Uh, let's just grab a couple extra. So, like, maybe this many is enough. And we'll go craft some more paper here. Let's see, how much paper can I make? Oh, I think I grabbed maybe one too many sugar cane. Uh, okay, so that's not quite three stacks of paper. I need a few more sugar cane there. Uh, let's grab, I don't know, we'll just make extra. It's okay if we have extra paper laying around, because we don't have that much right now. Uh, okay, there we go. That's three stacks. Now let's craft up the rockets. Okay, yeah, it's going to give me a lot of rockets here. Do I have enough room in my inventory for them all? I think I do, so let's just craft them here. Okay, that's the last of my gunpowder. And then we'll take these rockets over to our starter house, where there should be an empty shulker box available. Oh, yeah, look at the jump boost off of the uh, bridge there. That was kind of... That was pretty cool. That's why we put in a, a jump boost effect beacon. All right, uh, extra paper can go away in here. And we have all these rockets now, but I need to store them somewhere. Uh, what's in my ender chest already? Do I have an empty box? Okay, I do have an empty shulker box already in my ender chest. So let's put all these rockets away. And I'll keep a couple on me. Oh, I didn't even fill the whole shulker box. And then we'll pull this stack out from the actual uh, ender chest and put it in the box as well. Uh, so we'll keep that many rockets on us. And if we need more, you know what? Give me, give me one more stack. I think we have a long way to go. <laughs> but if we need more, that should be enough to get there and get back, I think. All right. So we're all stocked up on rockets now. Um, let's see. Yeah, the floating island. I guess... We can talk about that later, but um, I want to build something on the island. Maybe uh, some kind of storage or maybe a structure. I'm just not sure what I want to put on it. Um, but also, I don't have a really good place to um, farm wood right now. And so I was thinking I, I might just use the floating island short term for uh, mining wood. Especially, I want a whole bunch of the uh, warp stem and the crimson stem as well so that we can start building with them. I don't have any quantities, not significant quantities, of either of those two blocks. So um, I might use that space up there for just farming wood for now. Uh, but uh, whenever we need to, we can AFK on that platform there and get some more uh, mob drops down below. Uh, so that's quite nice. All right, let's go see if we can find a uh, ancient city. So I have flown a couple thousand blocks now, I think. Well, about a thousand blocks or so. And it's uh, going nighttime. I think I forgot to bring a bed with me. Oh, no, I have my brown travel bed, so no problem. I'm just uh, looking around for a mountain. And hopefully there's an ancient city underneath. I thought you might like to see some of the terrain here. If I can get it to load in. Most of this should be new chunks. Uh, but what I need is one of those big mountain biomes with the... Uh, yeah, there's a village here. With the uh, meadow around it. Uh, what What's the coordinates of this village? Okay. Yeah, we're in the pause pause area. Oh, this is quite nice. The snowy area. We can look around here for... Oh, man, the chunks are loading so slowly. Okay, let me slow down a little. In fact, we might just stop here and sleep for the night. Ah, uh, no, let's keep going. As long as we're flying, uh, the mobs down below don't really matter. All right, so this is a nice snowy tundra area, but can we get it to open up to a mountain for us? Let's see. This is promising here. Not quite as large a mountain as I was hoping. Could there be an ancient city? Probably not. Oh, that's quite a nice village. Very festive. Uh, let's continue past it, though. We'll go this way. Any mountains around here? I'm going to stay in the pause pause area of our world. I don't think I've explored in this direction yet for an ancient city. 
although I could be mistaken. Uh, the terrain looks like it might open up soon into something that resembles a mountain. Let's continue in this direction here, kind of diagonally. Uh, there's another village over here on the right. Oh, that looks quite mountainous over here. Let's have a closer look over in this direction. Uh, that's not quite as large of a mountain as I was hoping. Let's continue on. Uh, looks like we're coming up on some more ocean here. That's not ideal. Because we might have to cross another ocean before we find any mountains this way. All right, let me cross this ocean and I'll see if I can find a mountain on the other side. Well, I've traveled thousands of blocks now and uh, still haven't seen a suitable mountain with an ancient city beneath. But uh, I was just flying over this desert here, which has a couple of villages and a nice desert temple. Uh, so, of course, we have to stop and loot it. Uh, let's see what's inside. All right, so I didn't. I don't think I have my archaeology brush with me, so we're not going to be doing any. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be doing any uh, suspicious sand stuff. Uh, but we can go down and loot the chest. There might be something good inside. Let's find out. Uh, break the pressure plate. Very good. Let's see. Do I want to take the TNT? Yeah, I don't want a torch there. Uh, let's see what's in the chest first. Oh, gunpowder is nice. I definitely want that. So let's take all the gunpowder. And I'll take the iron as well, although we have an iron farm, so not such a big deal. Silk touch book is nice. I'll take that with me and also this golden apple. Uh, you can see in my inventory, I do have some night vision potions. That's for the ancient city. Uh, let's take the sand and the diamond horse armor. I have an empty shulker box, so we should be able to take a lot of this loot. Uh, stuff that I usually leave behind, I'll take with me. Uh, except not the string and not the bones, because we have a brand new mob farm back at the base. All right, I will take all the gunpowder, although we have a farm for that now too. So not such a big deal. Um, let's just take the TNT. TNT is not so difficult to get now that we have a farm for gunpowder. Uh, it's just uh, the sand, I guess. But we have a lot of sand as well um, that we mined earlier when we were making our villager trading hall. All right, so I'm gonna take the TNT, I think, just on principle, and can I get back out of here? There we go. I think that's enough loot from this desert temple. Um, there were no armor trims or anything here, but that's okay. Uh, let's just go back up to the surface. Let's see, I don't need that block. What are these here? Cut sandstone? All right. So that's the, the loot from this desert temple. Let's continue on and see if we can find a, uh, a mountain that we can mine down. Oh, there's a warm ocean here. We could try to get another sniffer egg. We only have one so far in this world. And uh, if we want to breed the sniffers up, we're going to need another... Uh, actually, that might be worth doing. Of course, uh, in order to find a sniffer egg, we're going to have to make a brush. And I don't have any feathers on me. No, I don't. And I don't think, uh, I think, oh, there's another, um, <laughs> there's another desert temple over there. Here, let's go loot that. We'll loot that first, and then we'll see if we can find maybe some chickens around. Uh, or we might be able to find some copper somewhere. I think copper is pretty easy to find. We can just mine down for it. Uh, but I don't know where we're going to find a chicken in a desert. Uh, all right, let's get down in here and see what kind of loot this desert temple has. All right, mine the pressure plates. Let's stick a torch down here. And I will take the gunpowder and the gold. And the sand is fine. Everything else can stay. Uh, another enchanted book, but uh, only fire protection three this time. More gunpowder. Bones, of course. We've got sweeping edge two. You know what? <laughs> you can keep your sweeping edge two. I'm not interested in taking that with me. Uh, okay, good. We got some dune armor trims. That definitely has some value. And another golden apple there as well. 
Uh, as for the blocks, I think I will just leave them all behind. Uh, we don't have a lot of saddles, so I will take one saddle, and then let's just go ahead and take the TNT again as well. Alright, I think I scored all the TNT there. Now we just... Oh, wait, one left. There we go. Uh, how did I get down here? Oh, I didn't get this one over here either. Alright, let's pillar back out. Another desert temple looted. And I need blocks. Okay, cut sandstone it is. Uh, here, let's mine that block down. I just want to show that I've been here before in case I come back thinking I haven't looted this one. Alright, where to next? Where to next? Let's see if we can find a structure to get a sniffer egg, and then I'll worry about getting a uh, brush. Do I see any drowned structures out here? That's what we need, right? Some kind of uh, ruined structure so that we can find suspicious sand? I don't see any here, oddly enough, um, but I'll have a look around and see if I can't find one real quick. Yeah, it's not looking too good here for drowned structures. No ocean ruins. Uh, what about these here? Are these ocean ruins? Uh, okay, yeah, th these are ocean ruins right here, so uh, I need a brush. <laughs> All right, let's go back up here. Um, I'm going to need to go find some chickens. Oh, there we go. Uh, Savannah biome should have some chickens. Uh, let's see if we can find any. I just need one feather, and then we can find a bit of copper. Okay, not down there. Hello, chicken, chicken, chickens. I see cows. Uh, there's a village nearby. Oh, there we go. There's a chicken. Here, just give me one feather, please. Uh, thank you. And that should be a lesson to me to always bring my archaeology brush whenever I go exploring. All right, is there a bit of copper down here that's easy to get? Uh, there's some iron. Is there any copper in here? Oh, I didn't mean to fall all the way in. Let's see, do we see any copper from here? I actually do. Okay, right here. Here's copper. I think, is it just two pieces I need? I think it's just two. Uh, now I just need to find a way out. Uh, here, let's just fly out, I think. Is it safe? Oh, why can't I fly out? I'm just wasting rockets. Ah. Uh, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I got back out. And where were the... Oh, I need to do some things first. Here, let's, uh, let's land over on the beach. We got to craft up one of these... Um, what you might call it? A uh, brush. So, okay. I need a crafting table. I don't have one. <laughs> Let's make one. There we go. And we'll put that down right here. Uh, it's going nighttime, so we're gonna put down our bed right here. Uh, set our set our respawn point, and then we'll sleep as soon as it becomes nighttime. We need to put our ender chest down over here and what do I want? I need a pickaxe. I guess either of these pickaxes will do. And then I need to put the copper back down like so. Yeah, cause I mined it using silk touch and I actually need the copper. Uh, now I need a furnace. I have one. And so let's go ahead and smelt this copper. Do I have any fuel? We'll just use the wood planks, I guess which means I might need a tree here. Let's sleep real quick. And then, so the brush is just, is it just one copper? Here, I'll figure it out in a second here. Okay, we have one copper and one stick and one feather, and I think that's all we need to make a brush, if I can remember how to do this. Okay, yep, there we go. We have an archaeology brush now. So we could go back to the desert temple if we wanted to and do a little brushing in there as well. Uh, back there, there is a desert temple. All right, we can take all this stuff with us now. Let's see, where was my... Here, let's take our fireworks uh, box. I, I also want to put this pickaxe back in here. And uh, there's room in here for some of the loot that we picked up. So I'm just going to use the rocket box to put some things away, including uh, some of the rockets. We'll put the gold in here, uh, extra gunpowder and TNT, just to clear our inventory a bit. Uh, we'll put the sand away as well. 
All right, that's better. And then we'll put this back in the ender chest. Very good. And let's see, we don't need this copper anymore, but uh, I'll just take all that with me. We'll put the furnace back where we found it. I don't know why we're carrying a single furnace. That's a waste of ender chest space. Uh, make sure we have our silk touch pick. Mine our ender chest. Mine our crafting table. Mine our bed. And what do we want to do first here? Uh, oh, I should have put the books in there. That's fine. Um, I think we should go... Let's see. Let's go back over to the desert temple real quick. And we'll... See if we can do some archaeology in here before we go. Uh, before we go look for a sniffer egg. All right, we may ne we may not make it to an ancient city in this episode, um, but I hope that we will, because I really want that swift sneak book. All right, where's my brush? There it is. Let's go ahead and have a brush here on this suspicious sand and see what we get. It looks like a pottery shard. Fantastic. Any more here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just use I'll just use my food to mine out some of these sand blocks until we can find uh, another suspicious sand in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think this is the actual way down. Yeah, see the staircase opens up if you go down this way. Of course, you don't want to mine from below, otherwise you might uh, destroy some suspicious sand. So we're actually gonna. We're actually going to try to mine our way down from the top. Here, let's mine out this sand here. None of this is suspicious. Uh, I still don't see suspicious sand under here either. Let's see if we can spot a bit more. Okay, there's a piece right there. I'll get to it in just a second. I want to see. I want to open this up and see if there's going to be any more that we can brush down here. Uh, what kind of loot can we expect from an archaeology area like this? Uh, not much, right? Diamonds, emeralds. Let's see. Is that suspicious stand right there in front of my face? It is. Hey, we got a diamond. Uh, that's actually really good loot. Uh, can we get another diamond down here? Let's find out. Looks like another pottery shard. And is that it? Uh, let's go down one more layer, I think. And then if we don't find any more suspicious sand, I'm I'm pretty much done with this area. Although it is nice to take the, uh, the extra sand with us as well. Always in need of some more sand. I don't see any more of the suspicious... Okay, there's one I just saw. Uh, okay, two more. Two more suspicious sands we can mine. Uh, three. Okay, perfect. And I think this is the last layer I'm going to do. So I might be leaving some loot behind, but that's okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. I want to go see if we can get a sniffer egg. Oh, it looks like we've got a diamond here, which is great. Another diamond. That's two diamonds. So that's already paid for itself. Uh, some more pottery shard. And uh, wasn't there one more bit? Is this it right here? Yeah, with another pottery shard inside. So we've collected quite a few of these now. Uh, let's see which ones they are. Oh, there's another suspicious sand under there too. Uh, it looks like we've got two of the archer and two of the prize. Let's see what this is going to be right here. Looks like another pottery shard, I think. Yeah, that's another. And it stacked, so that was another prize. Let's see. Okay, I don't see any more suspicious sand here. Uh, how many layers are left? Okay, I think that's the last layer. So we're pretty much done here. I can actually uh, mine my way out, I think, through here. Is this where the staircase is? Uh, maybe it's on... Is it on this side? Huh. I thought there was like a staircase out. And now I can't remember exactly where it was. Uh, what do we have here? Sand? Okay, we'll just use sand to stack out. There we go. Oh, there was the staircase right there. Oh, I see. There was just some blocks in the way. We could have mined those easily. And one more piece of sand at the bottom. Uh, okay, we're out of here. Let's go see if we can get another sniffer egg. It's still daytime. Let's see. Where was, where was the water? Okay, right over here.
We did it! The sniffer egg! There it is. Oh, it's glorious. <laughs> Our second sniffer egg. Uh, what can I sacrifice? What can I leave behind? Uh, we don't need copper. Get out of here, copper. I need a sniffer egg. That's not a sniffer. There we go. We got it. All right, I got to go up here and breathe real quick. Ooh, that was a lot of work, actually, to get that sniffer egg. But we got it, and that means we have two now. Uh, I'm really happy about that, <laughs> in case you haven't guessed. Uh, okay, let me do some inventory management, and then we'll go see if we can find an ancient city. There's still some time left in the episode, I think. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. This is the kind of mountain I was looking for. Uh, let's see if there is an ancient city beneath. Actually, maybe... Okay, we'll try this. We'll try this area here first. Uh, I think we can save ourselves a little bit of time if we just mine straight down here. So let's give that a try. Uh, you know, it should be faster than just mining down from the top of the mountain. Fewer blocks to mine through. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, we have a skeleton here. Of course, I don't have my shield equipped. Uh, maybe I should leave a torch in this area <laughs> in case we come back out this way. All right, let me eat to heal up from that. And then we'll continue mining down. I guess I should be careful here not to fall into any caves. Uh, creeper! <laughs> oh, there's a lot of mobs down here. Uh, I wasn't prepared for that. I should probably get my, um, my shield ready if there's going to be mobs on the way down. Here, I'll, I'll leave some torches too. Um, as we descend, where did I come down from? Okay, I see the hole. Uh, let's leave a torch over here, and then we'll continue mining. Well, I keep falling into caves, so maybe I should mine down um, in a 2x2. Two two. I hope there's deep dark under here. Here, let's mine down. Uh, we'll mine down two blocks at a time. So hopefully we can catch ourselves. Well, I, I want to go around the dirt. <laughs> hopefully we can catch ourselves before we fall into any more caves. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit dark down here. Uh, I do have the uh, night vision potions. But I'm gonna save them for when we find a deep dark because I don't know if there's one under here yet or not. I haven't seen any skulk yet, but we're not too deep slate either. So far, nothing. Let's leave some lighting behind. If there's not wonder, uh, uh, if there's not an ancient city under this part of the mountain, we can try one of the other uh, mountains nearby. All right, still nothing, but we've just come to Deep Slate now, so we could still find something soon. Ancient cities are pretty deep, almost as deep as you can get in the world. I hear a skeleton. Probably we are not in any danger, since there's not a cave nearby. Well, I mean, there is a cave nearby somewhere, just not where we are. So all we really want from this ancient city is uh, a Swiss Sneak 2 or a Swiss Sneak 3 book. I'll take any other loot that we can, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time. We can always come back later and loot the rest of the ancient city. I think the... Oh, right there. A uh, Skulk Block. Okay, so that's promising. Uh, we have at least a Deep Dark here. Oh, okay, there we go. Well, that looks like an ancient city to me. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely an ancient city. Okay, so we found one. Uh, that's lucky. Now I just have to find a way down. Actually, I could probably just survive. Oh, I have a water bucket. I'll use the water bucket. <laughs> Let's be smart about this. I don't need to take unnecessary damage. What's this, granite? Okay, I'm going to have to get rid of some junk blocks here. Hopefully there's a safe place uh, underneath. Here, let's see. Because there could be shriekers. All right, I thought, okay, I'm on wool right now. 
Uh, maybe I can put a torch down. Let me look around. Oh, there's diamonds in the wall. Let's see. There's a chest here, and I want to loot it, but I need to look around real quick to make sure there's no shriekers. And I don't see any, so I'm going to put a torch here. Yeah, we're okay. All right. Let's see what is inside this chest. Uh, fire protection is uh, not what I'm looking for. I will take all this coal, though. Actually, amethyst shards are quite expensive, so I'm going to take those too. And let's take the bottles of enchanting. I don't. I think we already have the music discs, so I'm not going to take those. Uh, I don't need the sculpt catalyst either. And we can. I think we can buy name tags, so we don't need those. Let's get rid of some of these blocks. Uh, I don't need so many in my inventory. Let's get rid of the netherrack too. Okay. Uh, that should be enough blocks, and now we have some extra room in our inventory to work with. Uh, okay, that's our first chest looted. Let's go ahead and take a potion of night vision, and we'll have a look around for another chest. Of course, I'm going to have to sneak, uh, unless... Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to grab these diamonds over here as well. Uh, can I just jump off the edge? There we go. Uh, let's see, this is silk touch I'm using. Okay, just two, just two diamonds here. Uh, another thing we could do in preparation for summoning a warden on accident is uh, we could make a way out of here. So let's go ahead and strip mine a passage and keep it well lit. And then if we need to leave quickly, we can get away from the warden by, uh, by zipping down this uh, long hallway here. Hopefully we'll be out of range. If the warden decides to launch an attack on us we could still get away here maybe and then we can dig up to the surface oh we've broken into another cave here that's interesting but it seems like it's still uh, deep dark here what does it look like oh yeah it's deep dark here and i don't see any mobs so this should be a safe way to retreat what is this over here uh, it's just a sculpt vein. Okay, that's fine. And there's no mobs here, right? So I don't need to light it up. I think we're good. All right, let's go back. Uh, where was... Okay, right. Let's go back through here. And so at least we have a way out. Let's go ahead and take our night vision potion. Oh, I see a... Uh, I see a... What do you call those? I see a shrieker up ahead. Actually, we could probably try to mine it. As long as there's not another one nearby. Uh, I'll scout around and have a look first. I think this is eight minutes of night vision, so we should be good here for a little bit. Uh, this is the first shrieker I've seen. There's no chest underneath here, right? It was just the one up on top. Uh, let's have a look around. Yeah, I don't see a chest over here. All right, let's go take out this shrieker over here. Is there a way down? Yeah, right here. And then we'll try to stay on the wall so that we can get around the uh, ancient city much faster. Here, let's take a risk here. I think we get we get a couple shrieks. Oh, we got silk touch, so we can actually pick that up. We get a couple shrieks before we summon a warden, so uh, we don't have to be too careful. All right, I'm on walls, so let's go ahead and move. Let's see. I'm looking for the next chest, and it's probably going to be up there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to sneak again. Oh, I see another shrieker right there. Maybe we should take care of that one first. Let me have a look around to see if there are any others. I see a chest up there, and there might be one up there as well. Yeah, I see that chest, and I'm, I'm not sure if there's another one. Uh, let's take out this shrieker. It looks like it's alone. All right, we didn't set off a shriek there. That's lucky. And then let's go back here and see if there's a chest somewhere. Uh, okay. Oh, no, I thought I saw another shrieker. But there's nothing, so I think we're actually safe to move through here. Is there a chest up above? Oh, there's a shrieker all the way up there. I didn't see that one before. Uh, okay, maybe we'll be able to see up there. Oh, I just set one off. Yeah, it's that one up there, I think. I just set it off. Uh, okay, how do I get up here? I wish I had some wool blocks with me. I need to find a way up to the chest up here. 
without setting off another shrieker. Okay, there it is. Uh, how do I get over to that? I guess I'm going to have to get some blocks out. What is this, all sand? We're going to have to use this stone. And hopefully I can place blocks here. Okay, nothing got set off. So we seem to be good for now. Let's jump up here on the wall. And the next chest gives us Swift Sneak 2. That is all I really came here for. Uh, I'll take the candles, though. And uh, there's some more disc fragments here. I don't think I care about this iron armor. Let me look at it. Yeah, protection three. Okay, it's not so good. Okay, there, so there is a chest over, over here. The problem is there's a shrieker, two shriekers right above it. So if we loot that chest, I think there's a really good chance we don't survive it. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna we're gonna run in and we're gonna run out. So let's just go over there. Uh, it's a little bit risky. I know I'm gonna s probably summon a warden, but we can't. We got what we came for, and we have a way out. So let's see. Let's just run in, and I'll get some blocks ready. Yeah, there, there goes a streaker. We're gonna get the darkness effect. Uh, that's okay. I, I expect that. And oh, swift sneak three. I'll take that. It'll be good to have a uh, backup. And then let's also take here. We can leave this glass bottle behind. Okay, now I just need a way out before we summon in a warden. So let's go back the way we came. And we should be able to get out this way. We haven't actually summoned a warden yet, so we're safe so far. I think we actually get one more shriek. Uh, which makes me wonder, maybe we should loot a little bit more. <laughs> uh, anyways, this is a safe area over here, so let me do some inventory management real quick. I want to put some loot away so we can go get more loot. I think this chest is full. Do I have room in any of these other chests? Uh, let's see. Let's just take a look inside. So this is the loot we got when we were looking for the sniffer egg. And it's all full because we have tons of rockets in here. Uh, let's check some of these other shulkers. And see if there's... Okay, this one has some room in it. In fact, this is, um... It looks like it's all deep dark loot. Oh, no, this is, uh... Oh, it's deep dark loot and it's also bastion loot. Alright, let's put some of this stuff away. Uh, looks like some of it stacks, so we already had a little bit. Uh, let's put the Swift Sneak books in here. And then uh, what else do we want to keep, actually? Let's see. Let's keep the candles, the amethyst, and the bottles of enchanting. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's put these shulkers back in. We have a little bit of inventory space now to work with. So we'll put these back in our inventory. And uh, we're looking pretty good here. Let's get some blocks back down on the hot bar. And we'll pick up our sh ender chest. All right, let's go see if we can loot some more stuff. Um, so we already know we looted those chests over there. We could try We could try the other side. How much? Um, OK, I have two minutes left of night vision. So let's see how much more we can loot here. Uh, that's so lucky. How did we get Swift Sneak 3 and Swift Sneak 2 in this ancient city? But the first two we explored had nothing. Well, just a, just one Swift Sneak 2 book is all we had. So not very lucky. Uh, it's okay, though. This ancient city has more than made up for it, so I'm happy now. Soon we'll be able to get our uh, leggings with the enchantment on it. Oh, that's not good. There's two Shriekers here. Three, four... Uh, is there a chest? I don't see a chest, but if there is one here, it's going to be... Oh, there is one. But there's no way we don't set off a Shrieker. Uh, let's just try anyway. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll take another other side disc. That's kind of nice to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, com here comes the warden. All right. Uh, we got to go. Where is he? No, let's not. Let's not. Let's not look behind. We just got to go. We, ha we have a way out. Uh, we're going to just use it and leave. Hey, there's another diamond here. I'll take that. Any more? Just two? <laughs> okay. Uh, where is the warden, actually? I see him over there. I wonder if he'll just give up and go away. He doesn't seem to know I'm here because I'm not making any sound. Uh, what did we actually get there? Another side disc? I think that's a double for us. 
A regen potion, that's nice. Echo shards, I don't even know what to do with those. I guess I'd have to look it up. Uh, so do we loot more? I think maybe... Alright. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just cut here. And after the warden goes away, we'll see if we can loot some more of this ancient city. I want to try to get some more chests. <laughs> oh, I think the warden just left. Here, let's go in and loot again then. We're going to have to sneak around though. And I'm going to have to take my uh, second night vision potion. That's my last one. All right, let's start sneaking. Oh, here, I'll take the potion. So that gives us eight minutes. Uh, and then we'll sneak back over. So we, are, we don't need that chest that we just looted. We can try a different one next. Uh, let's actually go up a different way then. I want to stay away from where all those shriekers were. Can I get up here? Are these stairs? I'm so greedy. All right, which chest did we just loot? Let's try through... I think we looted that one. Let's see what this one looks like here. This is not the same chest, though, right? That warden went away really fast. I, usually they stick around a little longer. Okay, we have two chests here. Uh, what about over here? I only see one shrieker. We can try to get... Oh, no, there's, another, there's a couple more shriekers down there. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to loot these two chests really quick. And then we're going to run for it. Uh, the way I need to run is down there and over there. Okay. Because uh, I think we might summon a warden right away here. Uh, books and coal. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, warden. Uh, channeling book. Uh, no. No, I don't need any of that loot. Let's go. We're out of here. No no more wardens for me. How, how, do, how do I flee? Oh, this is the wrong section. Okay, I need to go one section over. I'm making a lot of noise, but the warden doesn't seem to care. Uh, yeah, we're just going to leave. We're just going to go. Let's go. Back to the surface, back home. Uh, we have a 10,000 block journey ahead of us. Uh, actually, I might cut through the nether. What does this look like through here? Technically, the warden can follow me through here. Oh, there's Shriekers down here as well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I'm just going to summon a Warden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to summon a Warden here. <laughs> that was a foolish thing to do. <laughs> and I don't I don't have a way out of here either. Uh, I think I'm just going to mine up to the surface. I made it back to the surface. It was remarkably easy. Uh, that Warden retreated very quickly. Uh, but I have a 10,000 block flight uh, ahead of me to get back to our base, and so it's time to get flying. Uh, there's the mountain with the dark, what was it, the ancient city underneath. Uh, that means we need to go this way. This is our way home. So we crossed several oceans to get here, and it's going to take me a while to get back, but I think it only costs about a stack of rockets, so we're going to be okay to get back, I think. And if I need more rockets, I have some in my ender chest. Uh, it, it also seems like we're out of time for this episode. So I'm just going to say goodbye now and thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next Let's Play episode. Hey, there's a village right there. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. That was pretty fun though, huh? Getting the uh, Swiss Sneak book from the ancient city. I always, I always like revisiting those ancient cities. All right, see you in the next episode. Oh, <laughs> ow.